In this video, we're going to show how to charge a TXV system using the subcooling method. As you can see, we have 10 degrees of target subcooling is what this outdoor data plate is showing. Only we're going to show it using the job link probes from Fieldpiece, a core depressor on the liquid line, as well as the MeasureQuick app. So you can see we're attaching our probes on both the liquid and suction side. The liquid side is being connected onto a core depressor. This just helps to reduce losses and gives us a little bit more control over that liquid line because that's what tends to kind of give us a little blowback when we attach by attaching our core depressor with the stem all the way out or counterclockwise. That just prevents some of that blowback. And then we connect both of our rapid rail temperature clamps. We then connect our tools using MeasureQuick and we can see our measurements here both our suction line, liquid line temperature, as well as high side and low side pressure. And as we can see, our subcooling is only 7.3, which is slightly below what we're looking for. This is just going to show a very slight charge adjustment. So we're going to take our refrigerant tank. We're going to add a charge adapter to it so that way we don't flood the compressor when we flip it upside down and charge it using vapor. You're going to notice that in this hose assembly, I use a ball valve as well as a charging T. There are different brands that work well. Um, I tend to like yellow jacket hoses. So this end is a yellow jacket end with a ball valve. And then this T is made by C&D. Yellow jacket and others also make some nice charging T's with good seals in them. And I'm going to attach that to the suction line so that way we can add refrigerant to the system. We are going to invert the tank onto the scale because we want to charge it in liquid phase. And the charge adapter is what prevents us from flood flooding with liquid. You're going to notice we purge the air out before we allow any refrigerant to go into the system. We shut off the valve. We put our probes back on. We zero out our scale. And then we can add charge using our ball valve slowly as we monitor our readings on the app. Now you can see we've hit our target 10 subcooling, so we've added refrigerant until we hit 10 degrees of subcooling, which was our goal. All in all, you need to let the system run for at least 15 minutes after you make charge adjustments to ensure that it settles in. This is just a sped up version of it. Once we get done adding the proper amount of charge, we just do everything in the reverse order. We disconnect, we turn our ball valve counterclockwise, and everything goes back together. So that is how you charge a system via the subcooling method at a small amount of refrigerant. Here we showed R410A refrigerant on an air conditioner. It's very simple, very easy to use. The job link probes from Fieldpiece and the MeasureQuick app charging a system by subcool. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.